are finally watching today. We are finally watching episode 31 of Hershey's Chocolate Kisses. Welcome to another edition of Author E. Jamie Watches. Now, it has been a while because for some reason, I have trouble, have been having trouble downloading the last couple of episodes of Hershey's Chocolate Kisses. Now, Hershey's Chocolate Kisses is not the name of the show. I can't pronounce the name of the show because I'm an ignorant Canadian girl. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, this is where I um, watch TV shows and or movies and react to them and hopefully entertain y'all. Now, um, YouTube will most likely not let me upload this full reaction. So what we do here is I will post this intro, intro preview clip and um, the bit at the end where I give my thoughts on the episode. Uh, and in between that will be the link where you can watch the full reaction. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed here so you can get notified when the preview clip goes up and then watch that and then uh, hopefully you'll be able to go and watch the full reaction uh, where I've uploaded it. Um, so yes, it's been a trees age because I have not been able to download the episode uh, from places where I usually download it. And I, I message you guys and I say, if anybody is able to get me the file with the subtitles, not on a site, but actually send me the file so that I can download it, then I can get these out faster to you. But nobody's been able to do that. Uh, and so nobody's sent me the episode, so I've, I've had to wait. And that means you guys have had to wait. You don't want to wait? Send me, the, send me the episode. That's the only other way to make these come out faster. Um, so I've finally been able to download uh, from the site, uh, the uh, site where I usually get it, and um, we're good to go. Now, last <laughs> last episode, um, I remember very much the ending where um, Papa Koala Bear. Uh, gave Miran the letter that uh, his mama, Miran's mama, had sent to Papa Koala Bear asking for help to get away from her psycho husband, proving that Papa Koala Bear uh, actually did try and help her and was most likely not the one that killed her. Um, that Pop Qualibur did love her and um, I think it proved that she loved him as well. And uh, Moran had a little stroke. <laughs> not really, but he was affected by this news. I don't know what sort of spin he's going to give to deny himself of what is clearly right in front of his face, the truth. But this is episode 31 and I think they're up to what? 40, 50 now? <laughs> so clearly the story is not over. Um, and so that's sort of where we left off there. Um, so that was episode 30. Uh, we are starting now with episode 31. So I say let's just get into it because that is mo foremost in my mind. That is what I mostly remember from that episode was that ending. Um, so that's where we left off. So let's get into Finally, Hershey's Chocolate Kisses, episode 31, here 
we go. No, at this point, no, the writers are pissing me off. Because at this point, they're just dragging it out. They're dragging it out because they want ratings and more episodes and blah, 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 as television series are like to do. No, this episode pissed me off. The only person I liked in this episode was Ferrat. Ferrat should have beat his ass more. Frickin' twat waffle and <laughs> psycho, like, yeah, he totally knew that her parents were listening. I just, it was nice to see Precious Lemon Drop again. She's getting big. She's growing up. She's gonna, not gonna be my precious little lemon drop anymore soon. Ugh. Frickin' Ray, I was glad that Rayanne was finally like, this shit, I'm out. Though, I will say, and again, if they were, if he and, if she and Moran were an actual married couple and do what married couples do, then maybe he'd be more apt to listen to her. But no, they're freaking roommates at this point. I love you, I love you. Really? I see you saying that you love each other, but I don't see it. I don't see it in any intimacy between the two of you. And again, it is not just about sex. It is not just about like, oh, I want to see them have sex. No. It's about, I want that intimacy, that bond between them to be solidified where they're actually building a marriage. Something that he can trust and, and have faith in. And sex is a part of that. Sex is a part of what makes a marriage strong and intimate. And the fact that these fucking Turkish censors are still being like, oh, no, we can't have them be together intimately that way. Like, no, 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 that, that won't do for our viewers because it's Sex is dirty, and we shouldn't show that on television because, oh, the, you know, old people won't want to see that. It just pisses me off like you have no idea. And I will say they made a mistake setting this in present day. This should have, be, this should have been set at least early 1900s, around there, earlier if they could have gotten away with it, because having this whole arranged marriage thing, and if you don't marry him, I will you know, do this, that, and the other. And I'm talking about twat waffle. I hate twat waffle. We all know that I hate twat waffle. But having her being forced to marry this psychopath? In this day and age, no. I'm sorry. Again, I don't know the culture, the Turkish culture, fully. I admit that. However, I know enough of today's culture of like the modern city-dwelling girl that I know that they don't do that shit anymore. They don't do the, if you don't marry this person, oh, I don't want to marry this person. No, you have to marry this person. No. In the city, the women are independent. They have jobs. They have their own lives. They don't do this shit. 
So I think the mistake the writers made is setting this in present day. Because it doesn't work. Twat Waffle being forced to marry this psychopath in present day does not work. As, as much of a schemer as she is, she is a strong enough girl that she could tell them to all go themselves and she's out. I am happy that Rayanne essentially told Murad to go himself. If you want to believe your grandmother and you're still torn, even though everyone around you is giving you proof that she lied to you about your mother and Papa Koala Bear, then I am proud of her that she's like, this shit, I am out. I am out. I love you. And I will always love you. But I'm done beating my head against a brick wall. So if you want to believe your grandmother, you stay over there in that creepy fucking mansion and you believe your grandmother. I enjoyed Ferrat punching Moran immensely. This is for my boy Ferrat. I loved him. He won this episode. He wins this episode. I, who said what to Skittles? I don't remember. Was Mama Twat Waffle sitting at the table? Was it, Ma, was it Goonie that went to go talk to her? Because she came back from somewhere to come sit at the table when she said to, that Moran wasn't coming to Rayanne. Did she talk to Skittles? Or was it Mama Twat Waffle? Because Mama Twat Waffle got out of the car talking to Creepy Grandma. And what the hell are you listening to Creepy Grandma for? This whole revenge plot thing of her coming after your son You know that her having Skittles or not having Skittles back is not going to stop you from wanting revenge against your family. She, creepy grandma, is not going to stop until your entire family is dead. So Skittles is your one ace in the hole to keep her from killing your son. Why are you sitting there talking to her, making deals with her? Like, and we don't know for sure that Mama Twat Waffle actually did listen to her. Because, again, we don't know who it was that talked to Skittles. And having her leave, like, are the writers drunk? I mean, really? All the crap that gra cre creepy grandma pulled. You, Skittles, know that the best way to keep him safe is to stay in that fucking house. What are you doing? I I'm so mad at this episode. <laughs> I'm so mad at everybody in this episode except for Ferrat. In this episode, I love that boy. And Ren, you made my boy cry. <laughs> so, yeah. I, this show. Oh, the show. I'm glad I have my wine back. So I need this wine for this show. I just... So today was an angry watch. I won't say a hate watch. I was just angry at everybody in this episode. 
And again, I am slightly buzzed right now. So that might be affecting my feelings. I'm a little buzzed, but that doesn't make what I'm saying not true. Okay, okay. So that's gonna be it for this week's video. Hopefully, I won't have any trouble downloading episode 32. Hopefully. But again, if I do, if you want me to keep doing these reactions, then if I put out on Twitter that I'm having trouble downloading the episodes, then please, somebody send me the file with the subtitles. Not, don't like send me a link to a website to download the episode because that's the trouble that I'm having for some reason. <laughs> I need the actual MP4 file. You know, tweet me and tell me. I can send you the file. Give me your email address. That's the only way that I can get these out faster. Otherwise, we wait. We wait until the technology gods smile down upon me and let me download it. So that's going to be it for this week's video. I'm so pissed at this episode. <laughs> um, yeah, so follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash author ejamie. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash author ejamie. Wine, finishing my wine for Ferret. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!